Kia ora and welcome. Tonight we sit down to a feast of contests to sort the gold from the silver. This is Sports Desk. First up is Paper, Scissors, Rock. This has been a controversial event with some claiming it's more a game of luck than skill. But these contestants are passionate, I can tell you that. We we'll cross now to Josh at the Triple E Arena. Yes, things are certainly heating up down here. I'm shooting like a turkey at Christmas. The temperature... Wait, this is the wrong... <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, this round is between two heavyweight of paper, scissors, rock. You could cut the tension with a pair of scissors. Both these stats look good on paper. That means nothing in the arena. Introducing in the red corner the champion Knuckles and the champion Fingers. There's no love between these two bitter rivals. There's been a lot of trash talking and a long history of mutual dislike. Let's have a listen as the referee lays down the law. Come on, come in. All right, you two, keep it clean. Protect yourselves at all times. Best of threes, shake hands. Let's go. Wow, what a contest. I'm lost for words. Back to you. Next, let's check in on the sauna endurance event, an examination of stamina and strength while wearing a bathrobe in the sauna. They're clocking in now at about two hours and 50 minutes. Here's our reporter Ethan with more. Sauna endurance is all about the mental game. What do you do to keep a cool head during this competition? Well, I just think about cold things like uh, Snow, Eskimos, penguins. And you, Meliana? I sleep. Okay, what do you do to prepare for this event? Um, I just wear warm clothes and put all the heaters in my house on. And you, Meliana? I sleep. And what do you do to stop yourself from shriveling up like a burnt raisin? I moisturise like four or five times a day. And you? I steal a lot of sponges and put it on myself. Well, it's getting a bit hot in here and quite hard to see. Back to you now, presenters. Hot stuff. Over now to the event that combines the adrenaline of extreme sports with the satisfaction of a well-pressed shirt. I'm talking about extreme ironing. Let's check in with Charlie, who had a look at the drama unfolding as event leaders took their boards earlier today. Yes, I am here. Who is ironing in the Amazon jungle? Well, there are plenty of snakes and plenty of spiders to spice things up a bit. And on top of that, we're directly under a wasp's nest. How do you feel going into today's competition? Oh, it's quite difficult. It's quite scary. Mm. Uh, it's exciting, but... Not exciting. I feel like I'm going to win though. Well, you must have noticed your fellow competitor, Harrison, is also here with us tonight. Harrison, this isn't your first competition, is it? You've competed in many of these before. How do you feel about tonight? I feel, I feel good, you know. Um, he's not going to win. I am. Um, yes, I have competed in lots. Yes. Well, some people have said that you are past your prime. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about what the haters have said to you? Um, not that good. It's kind of annoying. Well, you have been doing this for 80 years, so. Some speculation. Well, do either of you have any concerns with the location? The location's good. It's it's better than I'm normally than I'm normally used to. What? I'm used to like running with the iron board, running from lions and zebras and snakes 
Well, there are some snakes here, but not what I'm used to. Well, all the best to both of you in tonight's competition. Um, I'm going to throw it back to the studio right now, and several wasps have just stung me! And things are heading downhill from here as we join the shopping trolley race. At this event, danger-loving daredevils race through crowded streets clinging to their shopping trolley. The goal is to cross the finish line first, but the judges will also be rewarding costume, sabotage and trickery. Organisers say, we do not care how fast you are, we care how awesome you are. Here's our reporter, Jan. Yes, I am in the trolley with some of these crazy contestants. Ah, watch out for that bus. So, tell me, why did you take up this bizarre sport? It looks fun and it's pretty easy to win. I just thought of trying something new. Ah, look out. You've had to deal with a lot of injuries while preparing for this event. What were some of them? In the race, I fell on my knees. While during the race, my trolley ran into a tree. What sort of chance do you think you have of winning this? I think I have a fair chance of winning. I think I have a good chance of winning, but I'm not sure if I'll win or not. Well, I think we'll better crash in spectacular style. So back to you at the sports desk. And that's it for this edition of Sports Desk. We'll be back tomorrow with another serving of the world's silliest sports. But until then, kakite anō and good night.